One of the first new updates in the 2108 SAP IBP update is the time-based disaggregation to partially editable child nodes. So in this first area, you can see the old behavior. So right now we have a current forecast of 5,000 and today's date is 820. So we're about a little over halfway through the month of August. So right now you can see that it disaggregated evenly to all the weeks within August and the old behavior was that you couldn't even enter a new forecast manually because it's the current time period. However, even though we still have some of the futuristic weeks within the current month. And so now, now this new behavior that IBP has come out with is if I enter in a new value for 9,000, let's say, it should update the future weeks still in the disaggregation logic. So today's date is the 20th. So we would expect to see the 23rd and the 30th weeks update. However, it still locks into place these current and past historical weeks. So once I update it, you'll see that it splits it evenly between any future weeks that are still left in this month. So you're still able to update any last minute key figures that you would need to within the current month. The second new feature in the 2108 SAP IBP upgrade is the update to the manage planning objects tile. So now within this application, you can look up your planning area, hit go, and it'll load all the different planning levels that you have within your planning area. So if you'd like to either delete, edit, or create a planning object at that planning level, you simply just have to find the planning level you want. So a common one would be weak broadcast. I could go in here, select all the planning objects. And if I wanted to simply delete one, I just select the row that I want to delete hit the delete button and it'll say that it will be processed in the background. So once it's finished processing, you can see that the 1008 product is no longer with us. And so it just deleted it in the background. This new functionality is a lot simpler to use as opposed to going into your master data and looking up specific planning objects um, within the Excel add-in. So it offers a little bit more UI, user-friendly usability. The next new feature in the 2108 update is the addition of the multiple linear regression algorithm within your managed forecast model application. After you've entered in your general information for your forecast model, you can head to the forecasting steps, select your input and your target key figure. And finally, down here in algorithms, you can now select multiple linear regression. Once you've selected this, you'll have the ability to select as many independent variables as you would like. So from here, you can select any key figures that are within your planning area. So if you wanted to base your forecast off of actuals quantity from prior year, you'd simply select that, enter in any period offsets that you would like, and then you could add another one if you wanted to see the impact of another key figure. This new algorithm allows you to track independent variables and how they can impact your forecast in different ways. You can also select them to be a categorical variable, depending on which key figure you select. Finally, once you've entered in all the independent variables that you would like to assess with your forecast, you can just go ahead and hit save. The fourth feature of the 2108 update is the notification relevancy and notifications of emails for custom alerts. So within the define and subscribe to custom alerts, you can create your alert and then create subscriptions. So once you've created a subscription, there's this new option to select either yes or no for notification relevant. If you select yes, that means that you want to be notified when this alert is updated and you will receive an email with the notification that this custom alert has 
been triggered in their R results. So once you've created a subscription, you'll then head over to the email template within IBP. Once you've finished creating your subscription and you've marked yes as notification relevant for this custom alert, you will then navigate over to the global configuration tile. In here, you'll search for the subscription notification default parameter. And as we would expect, you would want to make this default value a yes. So this notifies your entire global configuration saying that yes, the email notifications for custom alerts uh, is turned on. And after you've double checked that that default is accurate and you want it to say yes, you next head over to maintain email templates. Once you've gotten to the maintain email templates, you can then create a new template and set this as the default for when a custom alert is triggered and therefore will send an email notification. The final new feature in the 2108 update is the required filtering within job applications. This new feature sets a requirement for there to be a filter before a demand planner or any user could run an application ad hoc job. In order to apply this new feature, you'll have to navigate to the global configuration tile within the web UI. Next, you'll wanna search mandatory job filter in the parameters, and you'll see user group mandatory job filter. Currently, this value is set to empty, so right now it's not being applied. All you have to do to apply it is hit edit and then type in a specific user group that you want to apply this requirement for. And just hit save. After you've completed this, you can head over to the Excel UI and we'll be able to see that Excel will not allow us to run any job application without applying a filter first. Once you've logged into the Excel add-in, you'll go to the SAP IBP tab, go to your application jobs, and select statistical forecasting. Once I've selected the specific parameters for my application job, you can now see that IBP is not going to allow me to select next. I have to go into the filter and select at least one specific filter before IBP now allows me to select next and run an ad hoc job. This allows you to give users more access to different application jobs, copy operators, statistical forecasts, and other types of ad hoc jobs. That is all for the new updates in the 2108 SAP IBP upgrade. Thank you and good luck.